Hey everybody, alright, so uh, today we are going to do the unboxing or kind of first impressions of the Dai i4. I've kind of already got all the stuff out, but here's the box. Um, first impressions of the box are really, you know, really nice packaging. Um, really cool how the box has a lot of info around it. Um, that's kind of cool. And then when you take the box, you know, apart in half, you can take your mask and you can put it right there. That's how it's set, right out of the box. So really professional looking, you know. You, you can't really expect anything less from Dai though. Great company. It comes with your um, warranty card, which is always good to have. Your sticker, eh, drop that. And your manual. And I've already read through the manual. It's really nice, really descriptive. Great manual. It are, and, it, uh, and it also comes with your i4 bag. Um, so getting on to the mask now, talking about the mask, very, very, very light. That's the one thing that really hit me as soon as I saw this mask is it is extremely light, extremely easy to change the lenses out, which I'll do here in a minute and show you. Um, the foam is great. The lenses and the vision is incredible with the HD lens. It cuts out the glare enough to where it's like a smoke lens, but the vision still remains unaltered and it's still... Um, you know, you're still able to see in all light conditions pretty much really, you know, well. Uh, in extreme light conditions, obviously, you know, a mirror would be a little better, but this hits it pretty good on pretty much any day, cloudy, uh, sunny, anything. The frame itself is very flexible, very nice. Like I said, extremely light. Um, it does have a good amount of venting right where you're breathing out of, so, um, it you know it's not gonna really fall especially with the nice thermal lens on here um, it I'm not sure if this has sound baffles I don't really know what they are and I don't know really what they look like but for those of you that are shouters it doesn't seem that bad when you put them on um, when you put it on it's just it doesn't seem terribly loud like a lot of masks do so uh, extremely nice on that part for you know the guys that like to yell a lot which you tend to do in speedball um, so, you know, just like I said, first impressions, it's very, very tight, very, ah, drop it, <laughs> very, very tight, very, very light, um, you know, everything you come to expect from a really good mask, comfortable, you know, there's, the foam is absolutely incredible, the gluing on the foam is good, it's not like off-center, bunched up in one area, it's perfect foam, the soft ears are really nice, it feels great, extremely comfortable, extremely protective, really nice. One word of warning, though, before I do the lens. One word of warning, um, for those of you that have really rounded faces, I actually have a fairly round face, but it do, it is angled enough. Um, for those of you that have extremely round faces, this isn't going to fit you very well, because your cheeks are going to go out into here. And that's one thing I liked um, over the, the Pro Axis and the old Envisions, was that they almost like bubbled out, and it was weird looking. I don't really like the way the old ones look, they're alright. Um, kind of bug-like, honestly, but... Um, they're, they're cool nonetheless, but it just, it felt like it left a lot of room up through here where it kind of, this doesn't, as you can see, it just, it's hugging, you know, my face. This right here is really, really close. I can, when I'm talking, I can kind of feel it because my jaw is moving. I can feel it through here and stuff. Um, and that's another word of warning. If you're not used to getting shot in the jaw, maybe. You know, that's, this may not be the mask for you because it does leave a little bit exposed depending on how long your face is and the dimensions, but if you're comfortable with it, then go for it. But, um, so the lens is really easy to change. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see very well, but on the inside here, well, let me, all right, so on the inside, you'll see that grayish tab. You just need to push that down. It's kind of tough. Maybe it's just that it's a new mask and it needs broken in a little with the uh, lens stuff, but yeah, and then this little gray nubbin thing slides forward in this groove, and that allows the lens to pop right out. So, and then you push the other one down, and slide that one forward, and then that's basically pushing the lens right out when you do that, and then you just want to take it, grab it by the nose, grab it by the top, and just yank right out. Here's the frame. Now you have full access to the frame to clean it and full access to the lens to clean it. Um, like I said, I love the lens on this. Uh, I like how it's a quick change. I like the HD 
and it's just it's an awesome lens so good job on that part die um, but we will now um, put them back in which this is gonna lengthen the video a little bit but who really cares I guess so you just want to slide it back in just how it came in those slits I, I always you know dreaded putting lenses back in it kinda sucks because you gotta line all these things up but once you do you almost want to just take a soft um, surface like your shirt and just give it a good firm smack then you want to make sure every seam is closed around the perimeter of the lens you want to inspect that that there's no air path that's coming through there uh, because if you get shot in the lower part of that frame it will allow paint to come into the inside of the lens which happens with my profiler even when um, I don't know if anyone that else has owned profilers and experienced that but I have when you get shot here it bends the frame in and it allows paint to come in pretty crappy um, but that's also you know it's not only just that but you know a cleaning issue but it's a safety issue so you need to make sure everything's all sealed away you might even want to give it a little pressure around all the areas where it lines up with a seam and then you want to move your tabs back you just want to slide them back and make sure that the middle one kind of comes up like that like there's going to be two like that and then you want to make sure the middle one just kind of comes up like that and uh, it's going to be hard to show you so i might as well not even waste my time but it you'll see what i mean if you have one so if not just read the manual it's really easy so and then you just put it back on and you're good to go so hope this was helpful to anybody uh, for the lens change hope this was helpful for first impression or kind of a review uh, once I get it out on the field, I will uh, evaluate it, give it a review, and I'll make another video. So thanks, guys.